third rock from the sun. Caulfield, the hero of this Salinger novel, hates movies, phonies, and his classmate, Ernest Morrow. Joey. What is Catcher in the Rye? Right. I'm so excited. You read it. That's my favorite book. Good for you. Pick again. <laughs> Some people dug up this clip from 1997 of JGL being a total nerd on Jeopardy. Love that. So if that kid turned into a huge movie star, what's stopping you from being a star too? We've shot an action-packed short film with some scenes left unfinished. I'd like you guys to use your creativity and imagination to help complete them. Okay, that's Robert Rodriguez, the guy who directed Spy Kids, Sin City, and a whole lot of other stuff. He's making a movie and he wants you to get in on the fun. So he's put a scene of the movie up online and all you have to do is put up a YouTube video of yourself acting out one of the roles and if you are the best, mm. he'll edit you into the movie. Chance to get a big break. No kidding, we should totally do it because we have a green screen wall right there. So that would make total sense if we did the audition. We Ours should, would right? stand out. I think it would. We could put whatever background we want, right? Yeah. Okay, here, let me look at the tease. Let me see. <laughs> uh, we're putting Kim and Kanye on trial. We'll see how they hold up in Judge Oliver's court. And earlier we told you some of the good things about March Madness, but now it's time for the bad. But first, here's a check with what's happening where you live. Thanks so much, guys, and happy Friday, everyone. Hope you're making it a great start to your weekend. Now, we certainly are here at Eye Opener. That's because Zachary Lashway is live down at Yards Brewery. I think he's got, is that a mallet in your hand right there? I'm a little scared. Zach, what's going on down there? I do have a mallet in my hand. Jen, you always know, I always get the best assignments. Uh, this morning we are talking about the upcoming Philadelphia Real Ale Invitational at Yards Brewery that's happening Sunday. With me this morning is Tom Kehoe, the owner of Yards Brewery. Tom, why don't you tell me about the upcoming event? The event's great. It's going to be cask ale, which is real ale, uh, a little bit different than keg beer. We actually are going to have 30 casks here that we're going to tap the day of the event and we're going to you know, have, have fun the whole event, drinking cask ale. It's more of a different kind of uh, way to serve beer because the final fermentation is done in the vessel, the keg, that it's uh, served in. So it gives a different kind of mouthfeel, and it's just a real rich, great flavor, and it's the way they used to do it all the time when they made beer. Okay, so let the games begin, and I'm sure back at the station you guys are taking bets on how many times it's going to take me to strike open this cask. Um, Steve, my director, I'm sure you're very jealous about this assignment. I wish you were here with me. Uh, so I guess let the games begin. I'm going to give you this, Tom. Um, and you kind of gave me a tutorial earlier on how to do this. So you put this guy like this. Exactly. The valve is closed, so the, the beer is not going to spew all over the place. Um, and we're going to give it a real nice, nice hit. Okay. Keep it level. Okay. Keep it level. Harder. Hit it again. There you go. Hit it again and again. Put it in there. There you go. That's yeah. it. Not too much beer on I, us. I thought this was going to take me like three times. Okay. I'm going to let you do the work now. You're going to pour us some... Uh, oh, I'm wearing the beer. I'm not going to drink the beer. I'm going to be wearing it this morning. Um, that was pretty... Was that, was that pretty good? That's excellent. And it, it should get over you. You know, it's, it's the way it's supposed to. Okay, Jen, while he's pouring our beers, I have a trivia question for you this morning. Do you know the difference? There's a difference. Now, this is a cask. This is not a keg. Do you know the difference between a keg and a cask? I really don't, Zach. I'm a little familiar, though, with a keg. I'm, I can't discuss all of that on the air, though. <laughs> <laughs> the difference between a keg and a cask is a keg actually has a manual uh, tapping system, whereas a cask, what we just did, we struck it open. So that's the difference. Um, it's been a lot of fun. As you can see, I'm wearing uh, the real ale this morning. Tom is going to uh, serve us some, and I'm going to send things back to you. Jen? Thanks so much, Zach. That is so much fun, and you do get the best assignments. Everybody, check us out on Facebook, phl17.com as well, and uh, tell us how you're spending your weekend. Make it a great one. We'll be back with more Eye Opener straight ahead. Happy Friday. Oh, Mr. Harper. Call me Charlie. Don't judge me. Charlie. Charlie and I are just friends. My brother does not befriend women. He befouls them. When I first started...